Welcome to your chakra reveal for card number one. I'm Robin Carline from Robin's Authentic Tarot and thank you for visiting my channel. All right, so we have the first card, which is the sacral chakra. This one is relationships. So whenever I have a card that speaks about relationships, I always go to your relationship. Your relationship that you have to yourself is the most important relationship that there is. So right now, we are in the Gemini energy. And coming up, uh, so it'll be the day before the next chakra reading. So it'll be next Monday. And that is the new moon in Gemini. So very exciting. Now, the Gemini... Uh, sign it is there's that duality about it so the Gemini it's it's very very complex and a very very beautiful very intelligent very intuitive sign that's why there's that relationship so that relationship to yourself is so extremely important and this is something that you want to be more creative with. So what are some creative characteristics that you can bring out or that you've wanted to bring out? And this is the perfect time. There are so many transitions that are going on. Allow yourself to flourish. Allow that relationship of yours to really, really blossom this spring moving into summer. So now there is the... Uh, the uniqueness, the individuality. So there, there's all of the beautiful, beautiful attributes of the air energy, but really allowing yourself to be more decisive and be very picky about your relationships. So this uh, could be um, romantic relationships. This could be friendships. You really want to be very picky in who you're spending your time with. Who do you want to spend your time with? Who really pumps up your energy? Who makes you really feel like yourself, the way that you deserve to be? So really looking at, at those things as I want to be me. I want people that are going to support me for being me. So that's what you want to ask yourself. That's what you want to say to yourself. And there is the um, uh, looking within. I'm looking for a different word. Reflect. There's that reflect on the relationship with yourself, the relationship on who it is that you are, who it is that you want to become. And what are some things that you want to let go? What are some things that you want to create? What are your 10 affirmations going to be? What are your 10 affirmations going to be uh, just before the next time? So start thinking about that. Start writing them down. And why I say 10 is for you to not be overwhelmed with um, a whole bunch of different things and it doesn't have to be 10 either just up to 10 and it can be like big big dreams big things that you're manifesting it can be things that you really want to work on you haven't started yet and then it can be those things that you are currently working on that you're bringing over from the next cycle and you're continuing to work on so and then there could be some that are no longer relevant so that's why I keep a book I keep a record Record of all of the intentions and then I look back and then I'm like ha huh, that one doesn't apply anymore I evolved out of that I, ch I chose or I reflected and I, I saw that you know those those things weren't something that were going to uh, be aligned with the relationship to yourself so now with the relationships, now this is partnerships, this is romantic relationships. Really allow yourself to feel that cherish. Really allow yourself to have fun with the dating and in the relationships, with your work partnerships. Same thing, if you're collaborating, allow yourself to like be so creative, be so happy, like just 
like joy, joy, joy. So this sacral chakra, that is how you're attracting your abundance. That is your joy. That is your happiness. This is your fulfillment. So um, I feel this in the most passionate way, but, but in, and so that you're honoring yourself in such a profound way. So really, really honoring yourself with this beautiful sacral chakra. Now this is intimacy, freedom, acceptance, and trust. So trusting yourself, trusting that you know yourself and you know what is best for yourself. And then also how I was talking about, you want to make sure that you are being you. So there's that freedom to be you. There's that intimacy with yourself and with other people and with the acceptance. As you are accepting as who you are and there's a lot of self-love and self-worth that goes along with that. The sacral chakra is such a doozy of a chakra, but this one like super amazing positive. This one is really, um, if you're not feeling super happy, if you're not feeling like yourself, there's things that you want to reflect on. There's things that you want to work on manifesting and create. That's part of the sacral chakra as well is create. So there's that duality, there's that um, beautiful complexity because we are complex. So there's just so much beauty in, in each one of us that you are truly allowing yourself to honor yourself. For this beautiful week, I thank you so much for coming and listening to me. I thank you for showing up and showing up for yourself. And I thank you for supporting my channel. I love you all. Mm -hmm.